All right, so just scrying the word jereho, which means what Christ did in hell, I'm scrying the heavens which dwell therein. And the first thing I'm seeing is a vortex almost. It's as if the heavens are reaching down into a funnel-like shape. And in this being of Christ, I see him going down and it's sort of like at the very bottom. As he descends, suddenly there's more of like an, another funnel facing the opposite direction. A bit like a Taurus and a being told that when Christ is descending through this pure, immaculate love, that this love becomes all-reaching. So not only down into, you know, from the heavens down into the Terran earthly plane, but also into the Thonic plane, C-H-T-H-O-N-I-C, we can see Christ bending down, and it's like it's this inflection point. So one of the things that I did when I, pre just preceding this, I called forth the uh, Aether of Hutmoks, which is sort of like this hidden layer, hidden Aether that was shown to me. Again, I always recommend other magicians and practitioners verify these experiences, but nonetheless, this is sort of, for lack of a better term, kind of like a, an, uh, an over part of the earth, or a, it's sort of like that part where heaven and earth touch. And so I ask to be reconciled with that of all the 12 zodiacal kingly governors of that aether, because all 12 of them uh, are governors of it. And... In so doing, I definitely felt much more reconciled, and it, apparently this seems like it's a necessary reconciliation in order to understand the breadth of this. So anyway, once again, Christ, through his divine love, through his, his very pure and universal love, it's like him going into these depths and these places and by the way, any of us can do this when we when we pray for the dead. So this is very much like a, um, a Buddhist prayer for those in hell, basically the same kind of concept or the hungry ghost realm or whatever the case may be. But that same idea of that love is not only universal, but it's also eternal. So it applies to both the living and the dead and those who have yet to come. And this is the sort of the 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 non-duality of love. Uh, the wisest of loves is the most universal of compassions. And so I'm seeing in this, uh, Christ is pointing out something to me and it's sort of like this, this dark spot. And he's saying, even this shall be, shall be reconciled in its totality. And I'm seeing the number 25 and the sense that I get is that for those of us who are suffering, it's like we see very close in front of us because we're seeing through the, the eyes of the lifespan of somebody who's alive. But as somebody, as God, he sees, you see this cycle over and over again, and the future state can redeem the past state, and it can redeem the present, you know, in the, and therefore it also applies going forward uh, into future eternity. And so I'm seeing this reconciled I'm seeing two and a half, but I'm also seeing I'm also seeing twenty five and he's relating this to me as something astrological to me. 
So I'm very grateful for this. And he's going, he's reaching into my heart and he's once again softening it. And he's saying, even the wall, even a garden can have walls, but grow the softest fruit, basically. So it's about creating conditions and sometimes conditions that seem pretty um, hard to the outside, but it's not that you're armoring your heart. It's that you are behaving appropriately and maturely. So, and this is sort of like a general statement that even though we are sort of there, I mean, that's, it's a very layered meaning, <laughs> but one of them is that even though we're walled off as it were from the dead, it doesn't mean that our heart towards them is not, is not pure because all things he's saying receive the light of heaven and reflected back up into heaven. So the walls are just sort of necessary for earth, but illusory ultimately especially when we come up to that point in Hutmalks where we are reconciled with heaven. So it's very beautiful. And I very much appreciate Christ's message and love. And he's just saying, just hold on. And I sort of feel his hand is like coming into my chest. And it's like I can, it's like his hand is, the, the hole in his hand is like right around the center of my heart and it's like I'm just feeling this this beautiful love and and it's like I'm seeing him change into like thousands of different forms and it's just reminding me of the um, the universality of this uh, of Christ I mean, in that sense, Christ really is within us all. And so, yeah, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. And I'm asking if there's anything else. And I'm being told no, so thus ends the vision.